Ryan, tell me all about Spellbreak. So, Spellbreak is another Battle Royale game. Oh, yeah. But um, it differentiates itself in many ways. So, it, if when it's released, it could stand out. I hope so. Different. These Battle Royale games are a pound a penny these days, aren't they? Yeah. If you want to go. This one is you play as a mage. Okay. And um, after you drop down through a portal, you still fly down to the <laughs> island like you, you would do. You don't drop down with a magic mage parachute. <clears throat> no. No, oh, okay. <laughs> At the start, you get to choose from one of 12 different schools to follow. So okay. some examples that I can think of off the cuff is um, like Pyromancy, uh, <laughs> Frost Mage, uh, Scout class, which is like is uh, like an assist class. So you get your allies get bonuses to damage for you pointing out uh, enemies and stuff. Oh, so okay. you hit an enemy and then your allies do bonus damage to them. I always forget that this is a... Uh... A team battle royale. Game. It is squad based, so there's four people in it. I don't think there's too many of those, is there? <clears throat> there's only an apex, I think. Mm, it's so a squad based yeah, one. So it is. You could be a squad in blackout. Oh, right. Ah, yeah. there we go. Then see, I'm not versed on the battle royales apart from that film about those Japanese school kids. Um, yeah, don't mention those. Look, not in a weird way, Shira. Right? It's not like the teenagers referenced in the last episode. I'm turned over a new leaf. I've been a good boy now, and I'm going to let Ryan talk. Carry on, Ryan. Right. Anyway, no anyway, joking, carry anyway. on. So, yeah, you could be scout class, and then there's uh, one called, uh, I'm going to pronounce this wrong probably, but Bulwark. Bulwark? Bull, bulwark? I think yeah, it's yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not like Paralysis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you get, that's one where you, obviously, you like a sort of tank class. Yeah, I'll say so, it's a bit tanky. Yeah, there's... Um, Earthbound, I've just remembered, that's another where your spells that you use are all fucked around, affected by like earth and stuff, so you can, spells are stronger and use earth based spells and things. So here's a question for the earth based class, because I think this would be cool. Do you get stats if you like on certain ground types? Uh, you do on other ones, yeah, so the frost one does. You can run on ice without slipping and stuff, or you gain bonus oh, speed useful. and things like that, like the fire one is you get a phoenix rebirth, so you come back to life. That sounds quite nuanced. Yes. You know what this sounds like? What does it sound like? It sounds like Captain Planet the game. Oh my god! <laughs> is there one that does hearts? Because nobody wants to be the one that does hearts. No, there isn't, no. <laughs> is there a blue uh, man with a mullet? No, there isn't. Damn it! Continue. Yeah. Uh, so there's a scout class as well, which is like, you, think- know, you can charge up, you can use a spell to make your next one do 30% damage. And Is that scout? I think you said scout for another one a minute ago for the assisty one. Oh, that's as well. There's a scout class and there's a support class. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, and then there's a tempest one which is all about the wind spells. <laughs> so you can go in there. Uh, <laughs> <Wait, that's... sighs> right, carry on, carry on. <laughs> you can go in um, tornadoes and, and rather than them damaging you, they'll throw you upwards and you can move faster. Ooh, that sounds cool. So that's like a mobility... <clears throat> Yeah, so you can choose two two schools to follow, and you get talent points as you progress, or if you find runes and chests to collect. To so it's it's like an incentive to go to high tier or dangerous areas because there's more skill points for you to get. Yeah, so runes and stuff and talent tree would be the equivalent of getting attachments for your guns, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, because you yeah. obviously there's no guns in it. You don't get like a yeah yeah like a pistol spell or anything. You get gauntlets. And there's five different gauntlets you can get. Basic to uncommon, rare, and then legendary of uh, poison, fire, <coughs> earth, wind, and frost. So the poison one, when you use it, it fires like multiple blobs of poison that land on the floor to do damage. So it's kind of like a like a shotgun if it was close range. Mm. Um, there's a fire one, obviously fires fire blasts. Uh, earth one, where you punch the ground and then it ruptures the earth in front of you. Groundage, poundage. Yeah. Nice. My favourite kind of poundage. Um, there's a wind wind one, which is like fast firing, and frost, which you can charge up, and then you sort of zoom in, so it's like a sniper. I was going to say, so the wind one sounds like a machine gun, and the frost one sounds like a sniper right now. Yeah, but it's, but it's not really a machine gun, it's just fast firing, so as you, the attack is like you just sweep your hand back and forth. But it's pretty quick. Oh, it's like a, wi- oh, a wind-powered bitch slap. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Nice. I like that. Um, that sounds cool. But as you've been playing it, because um, you collect like amulets as well, which 
enhance certain spells. So you can collect like amulet of I don't know what it's called, frost or something. So then your frost attacks do different things as well. Sort of. See, this sounds very involved. Yeah, yeah. It, it sounds like they've put a lot of work into yeah. this game. Um, and then the other um, sort of stuff you can collect are boots, which can give you like increased jump or faster sprinting, like Spring Heel Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And finally, you can collect runes, which are like a, is it is it like a third spell option? So there's runes of flying, where you can or teleporting, <laughs> or invisibility. Are or, they are they sort of limited use? Or? No, no, they've just got cooldowns depending on their ability. There is. So there's one where it's yeah. called Shadow Cat or something, where you teleport forward and then you turn invisible. And you can run around making no sound for a little bit. So some of them are good for escapes, but other ones are good for movement. Okay. What's your thoughts on that, Stu? Oh, it sounds good. I'd want to play it, but I haven't got the PC. <laughs> so I'm good. So it is, it is good, actually. The only downside is I'm not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worse. I'm, ter- I'm terrible at any form of online game because I panic and just spray the air with bullets. <laughs> but I, I was doing pretty well. I was like, oh, I'm actually going to might actually kill someone here, and then I just died again. Yeah, the only, the only online game I was ever any good at was bad company too for some reason but well, me and Stu just dominated it but mm-hmm. since then I've been, I've been rubbish <laughs> but, uh, so uh, as I was playing it actually the all the spells and gauntlets that you use interact with each other oh, which yeah. is pretty good so for example if, you throw, if you've got a poison and a, and a fire gauntlet in each hand you can fire the poison and then <coughs> set it on fire so then the poison so you can make yeah, the fire it. goes like green and it does poison and fire damage. Nice. And if you put poison on the ground, can you make it explode, like light it up? Yeah. Like an oil slick. Yeah. yeah. So you can make a trap with it. Yeah. That's awesome. What you I could. do, I find a room, surround it with poison. But when some chump runs into the to get the room, boom, set them on fire and cook them. Yeah. The other thing is it doesn't it doesn't last forever. It right. disappears after a while. Yeah. So there's other things as well. So you get your standard spell and you get like a special spell from these gauntlets so I'm just going to go back to the fire one as well because that's the one that interacts with most of the things so fire is like your basic well no it's just one I use the most that I talk about the most (laughs) so like for example if you use the fire spell it's actually you put up a fire wall okay and then does that stop people hacking into you no Right, so they can't run into you. Wrong it's kind like of, a trap wall. Is, is it yeah. the wrong kind of firewall? Wrong, tri- wrong kind of firewall. Ha <laughs> I'm so funny. Carry on. So you've got like, um, but if you use like wind on it, you'll put it out. Oh, okay. And, and uh, Or if you use frost, you, you'll, that'll also put it out. But if you do it the other way around and you use fire, fire on a frost, frost spell. So it's like um, rock, rock, paper, scissors on it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So if you put fire on a frost spell, it just melts in and turns into water. Sounds like you've been having a good a good time with this one. Though. Yeah, so it's pretty good actually. Um, the only one that doesn't interact with anything or that I've noticed is the Earth one. It's sort of like just ruptures the Earth. All right. Anything else you want to mention there, Ryan? About the graphics. Yeah. What about it's the graphics? How does it look? It's a uh, it's cel shaded, so it's for those of you who don't know, it's kind of like Fortnite ish. It's got very thick yes. thick thick lines, vibrant yeah. vibrant colours. Yeah. Cartoon style. Aesthetic. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and audio? How does it sound? That's just like you'd expect a magic battle royale. Good music? I've really noticed the music, to be honest, but it's pre alpha, so not yeah. whether there's any music. Is there any voice not. acting? No. Does Master, Fen- does Master Fenric make an appearance? He does not. Hello, Sorry. I have these sexy underpants for you to wear. Like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Uh, so, in closing for Spellbreak, the review starring Ryan, anything else you want to mention? Yeah, we've got an alpha key giveaway. Oh, hello. Oh. It's competition time. Okay, so who knows Who knows all about this alpha key giveaway? Who's best to talk about it? Stu. Stu, as our chief hype man slash internet expert man, tell us all about it. So... Yeah, we've got an extra alpha key that we can give away. The plan is for people to tweet us, Instagram us, or email us. The email is shartselect at gmail.com. Basically, contact us with what our mage or wizard names would be. Yep. What our signature spell might be, and then we'll pick the best one, and then they can get a key. Yeah, you get the key, and then you might be, you may be able to play Ryan. At spell break, will probably beat me at spell break because I'm not very good. <laughs> you can beat him to the ground. But remember, when you're n- naming our 
spells and characters that the government has banned any thick boy jokes and from now on they've also banned any monkey monkey tail butt plug jokes as well they've, they've, they've preempted me <laughs> otherwise all of the next episode just be me banging on about them because i can't let go of the joke <coughs> help me okay so if we were to install an arbitrary scoring system out, uh, out of 10 shards how many shards would you give spellbreak alpha uh well at the moment because it's only alpha I reckon I'd give it six shots. Uh, would, would, have you enjoyed it enough that you would revisit it when it's released and remark it? Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, at the moment, there's a lot of stuff that's blanked out. So you go on it, you can choose, I think there's 10 or 11 characters, maybe 12, that you can do B. That's quite a but lot. There's different, but there's good. different skins you can unlock for them so, that, so you eventually differentiate yourself from all the other people playing as that same character. Does each character have four skins to unlock? <laughs> 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 there's no mention of it it's just on the website it says you can get special found, founders skins very enough skins, founders. The, oh. ones, the ones that don't have the four skins to unlock do they have purple helmets oh yes to protect them from damage yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh you've got some balls making these jigs <laughs> and then um, the other one is there's blanked out as well is quests so whether that oh, okay. be uh, just challenges yeah, oh, it might just be a challenge like kill thirty people with the earth going or something like that. But you never know. Don't know yet. We'd have to just wait and see. So yeah, so maybe in future Ryan will revisit Spellbreak and give it a post-release rescore, rescore shuffle. Yeah. But for now, six shots out of ten. That's but that's above purely, average shortage. That's, that's purely based on the alpha gameplay mm. as well, though. So and remember, folks, five, five means it's mediocre. So six means it's good before you get all these people. You know, these people get really angry when games get less than 9 out of 10 or whatever, you know what I mean? Mm. Which game was it? It was a... Oh, big game that released fairly recently. Kingdom Hearts 3 it was, and someone dared to give it like 7 out of 10 and they were chased down and murdered in the streets. Mm. Not literally. But thanks for listening to the video, everyone. Ryan, uh, any final pearls of wisdom before you sign up? Check out the other YouTube videos. Check out the other YouTube videos at the Shards I work, the YouTube yeah. channel. I work hard on those. Ryan's worked his hands to the bone. It's the most work Ryan's ever done in his life. Exactly, yeah. And the Robocop, uh, no, it's the Supercut one, isn't it? It's got a beautiful moment where Robocop says, now who's got a big willy? And it's the funniest well, thing that's, I've ever that's seen. that's actually what it says in the film, though. Right, okay. Bye, everyone.